536. More bad news for folks on food stamps. If Congress gets its way, your benefits are about to get cut by another percent. You see, a new study shows that for the first time, people who are of working age now make up the majority of American households that rely on food stamps. We sent our News 13's Samantha McDonald to the food bank distribution site to see what is happening there and find out uh, more about this issue. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Elizabeth. Well, the staff here say they have been seeing a steady increase in working age people coming in for food stamps. Uh, the nationwide study says since 1980, the fastest growing group of people receiving food stamps is workers with some college training. And recent data shows that over half of New Mexico food stamp recipients are in working families. That's according to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. Mobile food pantry staff say it's becoming more common for low-wage workers to supplement their income with food stamps just to make ends meet. I'm seeing a lot more people that say they, they do work, but of course they don't get a, a high enough wage to support maybe three or four kids. Working, it's not enough money for uh, me to meet my obligations. Staff at the food bank say lines have really been growing ever since the last round of food stamp cuts in November. Back to you. Samantha, thank you very much. By the way, in our state, the Roadrunner Food Bank serves hundreds of thousands of clients every year through mobile pantries.